Hey guys, what's up? It's Mark from DraftNet Gaming coming at you with episode 0-ish of the Backyard Baseball 2001 Season Series. Now, as you can tell from the title, there's going to be a special little twist in this season. I'm super excited to bring it to you. This first episode, or again, episode 0, I don't necessarily know what I'm going to call it yet, is going to be us drafting our team, getting everything started right before our first game. Now, if you guys love this Backyard Baseball Season Series and you want to see the first game be uploaded tomorrow, make sure you go ahead and hit the like button, 150 plus likes, and I guarantee you that we will continue to upload this on the daily. So I'm super excited. As many of you know, this was like my game that helped me fall in love with baseball, you know, along with playing it as a child. But this was like, this was my MLB The Show before MLB The Show came out. So let's go ahead, hop into our season. New coach. Oh, you know we go in GNG for the coach. We're going to pick our home stadium here. Not cement gardens, not dirt yards. Play mm, what are we going to go with? There's a lot of good options here. I am actually, you know what? Mm, no. Nah. Mm. Uh, we're gonna go with playground commons. That's a classy field. Of course, we're going with one of the created teams here We're going with the melon heads and just like giraffe Nick gaming colors We're going with red as the primary and blue as the secondary and damn if I don't think that that looks like a nice logo Ooh, you are crazy. Let's go with the super duper melon heads So as many of you can tell from the title and if you follow me on Twitter giraffe neck mark link in the description There's gonna be a twist to the series because right over here. There's a created player option. That's right we are creating Jabari Blash in Becker Baseball 2001, as you can see here, full batting, decent amount of running, decent amount of fielding, don't waste any on pitching, he's never pitching, but that's right, Jabari Blash, first overall pick, welcome to the team. For the second overall pick, this man needs no introduction, you might know him as a secret weapon, he was my imaginary friend when I was little, I'm not gonna lie, he's the greatest player of all time. Besides Jabari. Pablo Sanchez, uh, yes please. Alright, coming in at number three overall. He's really dumb, and he's really fast. Pete Wheeler. Uh, huh. Okay, so we do want to get a few pros on the team. We're not going to go crazy and go all pros or all backyard baseball characters, but we are going to get a few pros. I got to go ahead and get a catcher, and my favorite player of all time is on here, so we're going to grab him. That's right, we're going with Mike Piazza behind the dish. Now, we do also need a pitcher. There's a few really good pro pitchers in here. You got Randy Johnson and Kurt Schilling. You also have a few really good created, you know, backyard baseball characters that are good pitchers. You got Angela Del Vecchio. You got Luan Louis. You got Kenny Kawaguchi. But I'm going to have to go with the big unit, Randy Johnson. For first base, we're going with someone who may pick his nose a little bit, blow some snot bubbles, a little congested at all times. Goes by the nickname Nugget. But let me tell you, he drops absolute bombs. We're going with the man, Mikey Thomas. For second base, he's not really a second baseman. In fact, he's not at all, but he is a pro player and he's way too good to not have on the team. It pains me to pick him because he is a Yankee and he just, you know, colluded with the Marlins recently, but we got to go with Derek Jeter. I mean, this card's insane. This now leaves us with third base. Who are we going to put at third base? You might be wondering. There's a bunch of good options. We got Kenny Kawaguchi. We got Ahmed Khan. But I got to go with my boy who's just absolutely illiterate. He doesn't know how to do anything. Like, he doesn't even wear shoes. He keeps a frog in his pocket. Marky Du Bois. Hell yes. Hell yes. And for the final pick, you know, there's a lot of options here. You could go with Jocinda Smith. Drops bombs. Not too bad in the field. You could go with... Reese Worthington, the tiniest little man in this game. He is great. You could go with Ernie Steele, Jorge Garcia, Dmitry Petrovich. You could go with one of the pros, but there's one person that has a special place in my heart in this game. She drops bombs. She's a beast. Don't get in her way. Keisha Phillips drops bombs. Now, I don't know about you guys, but if you look at this team and you don't think that this is going to be a World Series caliber team, go ahead, click off the video, unsubscribe. We don't want you here because this here right here, undefeated season easily winning the world series we got pablo we got Pete. we got mikey we got mike piazza we got jeter randy johnson on the mound marky du bois holding it down with the iq levels going down and we got keisha phillips and wait is this jabari blash yeah that is jabari blash we got all the backyard goats on here we got all the pros that we need this team is going to be doing big things. You play 14 games in the season. We open up home against the Rangers, Angels, and Mariners. Then we got the Rangers, Angels, and Mariners away. Interesting how they did that scheduling. That's very strange. Got the Yankees. We got the Monsters, Bombers, Royals, Padres, Hornets, Cubs, and Twins. 14 game schedule. I'm fully expecting a 14-0 record. That would make sense as to why we play the Angels, Rangers, and Mariners so often because we are stuck out here in the American League West. We're gonna take it. So you take a look at our lineup here and how we've positioned in the field. I kind of already hinted to it, but we'll go over it again. We got Pete Wheeler in center field leading it off like a boss. Jabari Blash hitting two 
in right field. Pablo Sanchez hitting third, best player on the team, gotta hit him in the three hole. Mikey Thomas dropping bombs with that left-handed swing of his, hitting fourth, playing first base. Mike Piazza, my boy, behind the dish, catching, hitting fifth. Keisha Phillips holding it down in left field, being a beast, hitting sixth. Might be a little bit low in the order, but he gives us a nice balance here. Derek Jeter playing second base, hitting seventh. We've got my illiterate friend, Marky Dubois, hitting eighth, playing third base. And then, of course, Randy Johnson on the mound, hitting ninth. Now, I don't know if you guys will be able to answer this question. I'm gonna have to look this up a bit, but there's something that's a little bit concerning to me right now. And if you look at Pablo's numbers, they're killing his batting, running, and pitching. I don't understand why. And they're also doing it with Jabari Blash. Now, I'm gonna go back and look at this and see why that's happening. I'm hoping it's just like a random glitch or something, but Pablo's numbers are decimated. Like I said in our first game, we are gonna be playing the Texas Rangers, full with a bunch of girls and Pudge Rodriguez. Their backyard player is Maria Luna. Pudge on the team. Don't understand why it's a team full of girls, but hey, if we can't beat a team full of girls, Ooh, we might be in trouble. So this is how the roster looks. I'm very excited to get this series started and get our first game underway. Like I said, guys, 150 plus likes, and we will start doing this daily for you guys. So make sure you do hit that like button if you're excited. Subscribe to the channel if you enjoy the content. Let me know in the comment section below, like, I, why is Pablo's numbers just so far down? Is there anything I can do to fix that? Hopefully there is because, you know, Pablo's too good to be all the way down like that. And yeah, that's going to be pretty much it. Thank you guys for watching. And I'll see you next time. Bye. I said that's the vacation. I don't know what's gonna happen. I just gotta make it.